Oh, you ain't got nothing to promote before we get into up into this? Other than short film, shit, I don't know. What short film? You know our short film. We ain't even put that out there. But oh, so I bought all of them. But I got something to promote though. Uh, CreativeAtCurtis.com. You already knew. You know I'm gonna say something about my shorts. You know, you make it. Yeah. Oh, uh, and I'm doing this art challenge. Leon, Leon, uh, uh, Leon.com, he an artist of Chicago. He, uh, doing this Chicago art challenge. We sketch or draw something every day, you know, one, one draw, one drawing a day for 30 days for the for month of September. Yeah, I was saying. Yeah, so follow me on Creative by, at Creative by Curtis on Instagram and check that out. Oh, shit, what the fuck is that? And follow me on Instagram, man, uh, Donovan's Keeper. Twitter, man, we be having a jumping, man. Twitter is funny as hell. Twitter? Twitter is that place where motherfuckers just go to say whatever they want because right. they know you ain't they ain't got to face, they ain't necessarily got to face the consequences of what they say. You can put anything you want up on Twitter, bro, I swear, because you're not going to be reporting. Uh, trust me, people do be reporting on They do, but I rarely see it. No, it happens all. a lot. Actually, yeah, they report your whole little thing. They can get your whole account blocked. Because there was this girl on my friends that was putting up porn for her, her boyfriend. And I guess somebody reported her. Her whole, her whole account was just gone. I was like, damn. damn. I was like, no, but, it, it, but it was it, it's plenty of accounts like that that don't, that don't get shut down at all. Somebody yeah. hating on her. That's what that was. Yeah, unless they, unless they you know, yeah, somebody hating or some somebody shit. Was somebody hating making money off the shit. Twitter especially. You can't make money off Twitter though. I mean, nah, nah, you gotta get nah, the links nah. to the uh, the porn sites right there. Right, but I'm, but I'm saying, I mean, you can't make like like how you could do it on you know, YouTube. Yeah, you yeah. can't do that with uh, Twitter because now they got this whole policy of where uh, if you put something up, because they were sharing it. Like if you're an artist putting your work up on uh, Twitter, it, I guess the the to simplify, Twitter can do what they want with it basically, okay. or reshare it or or you know they could basically do what they want with it. It's a lot of so, stuff. but and and that's what Twitter Twitter gonna hurt themselves when, because if you think about content, people who who are content creators, they push forward Twitter. When you share content on Twitter, uh, it, it keeps continuing getting sh uh, shared. Now, now if a content creator doesn't want to put my content on Twitter no more because they got a weird policy about my art, or they could do whatever they want with my shit, then you know. When the art, when the content creators leave Twitter, Twitter's gonna die out. I know what I, uh, I'm not that I think of it, a lot of them porn things be happening, like just links. Some of them have videos, don't get me wrong, but I watch a lot of them. So, but a lot of them have just pictures and, and links. Those are the ones that really keep their pages, but that girl, she's yeah. doing a good job. I, don't know why I mean, if you talk about specific porn sites following, cool, but I don't follow them pages that just be I don't follow them, I just say I watch it. Oh. Cause somebody be retweeting, you know, I got a lot of freaks on my day, you know, Twitter after dark, that shit get crazy. And they just retweet it, just be on my timeline. I'm like, oh, what's this is there such thing as Twitter after dark? Yeah. yeah I, you get a hashtag. I remember the hashtag, but that hashtag died out a long time ago, man. You still talking to me. You gotta be too, you too damn grown to be talking about some Twitter after dark. Nigga, Twitter is Twitter. It's like the I just of BET. I just seen. <laughs> Oh shit, yeah. It's like the uncut of BC. When somebody say Twitter after Friday, they'll be like, oh, okay, yeah. I remember. Listen. And ain't no, for me, ain't no such thing Twitter after Friday because I'm gonna post whatever the fuck. And yeah, I was discussing Nine o'clock in the morning. I was discussing that. If it's a big booty to be posted, the big booty should be every, posted. Every day is Twitter. <laughs> All day, every day All is day, Twitter day, after dark. All day, 24-7 is Twitter after dark. We ain't so waiting till no after happening. dark. We grown as hell. Ain't no kids on Twitter. Shit. No, I don't, well, I don't follow no kids on Twitter. I don't follow no kids, but I see a lot of them. A lot, a lot of them. Especially these little girls, they need to chill out. They be on there arguing. Because I, uh, I found out because I was working at the school, mm -hmm. and then uh, I found out a lot of the girls up there, they be getting into it at the school because of what they said. Twitter, Facebook, Facebook. And Facebook. I mean, that's oh, any, that's typing. That's, that's what they y'all doing that, on Twitter. Facebook. That's what that gang shit too, man. Niggas be beef wait, niggas be beefing on, on Facebook, giving up their location and to get killed. Right. I'll be like, nigga, turn your location off if you gonna be stars. What type of dumbass you gotta be to get killed because they your be stars is off with their location <laughs> You can't you can't be a, 
uh, uh, keyboard thug and you got your location on. Nigga keyboard thugging like a motherfucker. And you can't keep your location on, bro. You gonna get caught, man. That's how they catch a lot of these dudes. You can't be showing people where you at. I mean, if you think you that hard and you gonna survive, go ahead, you know. If you like taking bullets, go ahead. Right. And, and then, social media got some of the most trash conversations anyway. Yeah. On Twitter, I seen some chicks say, uh, uh, men who raised by single mothers are trash. A trash, yeah. That's because she's trash. Yeah, I, it, it just weird. It, like, and then she, she, and then to defend her point instead of actually presenting a, 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 a logical point, she said single mothers make, uh, uh, I guess she was saying single mothers present their the, the sons as kings and giving them all this power before they actually deserve it. Some shit like that. I'm just like, what? Show me a single mother in the hood that at, at least ain't trying to instill independence in their in they son. There's a lot of people out there with single mothers. It's just IB. Huh? It's just, this is IB. There's a lot of people out with single mothers. But she can't just single people out like that. No, but no. But she, she tries, she tries. What, what, I, what, they, what I was saying was uh, if, if single mothers raise trash men, I, I won't even. I can't even say that. I, the point. I, I can't even make that point. I, I can't even defend her point because that's what I was going with that. Because you said, maybe you said, then uh, single fathers can raise hoes or something like that. Right. I see. No, I seen somebody respond. It was like, if if single mothers raise trash men, then then uh, 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 girls who girls who raised that without raised without a father are all hoes. Right. And. And I, to her point, she was saying that well, if you offended offended by it, then obviously it's about you, which is a it, which is like one of those one of those statements that that's a cop out. That shit is completely a cop out because I could be raised by a single mother, and your statements don't you know don't correlate with my life at all. But I could see how trash that statement is. Right. So essentially, she got hurt by a few. Niggas who was made, raised by single mothers, and she decided to take her anger out on everybody. Whoever was raised by single mothers, keep telling me, like, fuck out of here. That's like us putting all y'all in one category. Like, it's dudes out here that are saying all female, all these female hoes. Like, what? No, man, all of them ain't no hoes. Just like all guys ain't no men hoes, man. Like, I hate when they do that, they should be killing me. I, but we had these conversations before, yeah, like, it was a long time ago. But, yeah, this is the first podcast. Right. <laughs> we had the same conversation about people. People like to generalize, make these generalizations when they get when they get in their feelings. Like I said, she probably dated a single nigga that cheated on her and didn't work and let her pay all the bills or, or let her do whatever. And she decided to generalize everybody who's ever who can fit his, that description of the dude that hurt her. That's she, what it came down to. Don't get me wrong, I thought about it a couple times, but what? Like, you know, all these hoes ain't low and all like that. I just be like, nah, I can't even do it. Cause you know, you go through so much, you just be like, shit, maybe all it is, maybe they are. But it's not, man. I just, I came to that realization. Cause I met a couple that ain't, so. Well. Or a few. Except, uh, I thought that, I, I always thought the gay shit was homes of, well, I ain't always think of it, but as I got older, I thought that shit was kind of gay. Uh, whole home, homies over hoes. I never thought that. I, ain't, I don't know who came up with this shit. Because j- just off the simple fact that, in my experience, and so I can only speak for myself, I have met more loyal women than men. Yes, that's why I got a lot of women friends too. I have, I have literally met chicks. I had some disloyal chicks too around me, yep. without a doubt. Yeah, yeah. But I have met more loyal women than dudes. So, so I don't, I don't really I don't really get the whole, um, uh, uh, these hoes ain't loyal. A hoe ain't supposed to be loyal. Uh, I was raised off. Fuck of, these bitches. I was raised off of family over everything. That's what I was raised off. Yeah, which is cool, but that's a whole different conversation. But I was just saying that's what I was raised. I that homies over hoes shit. Like, first of all, you can't even trust your homies. Not all of them. Listen, <laughs> I ain't fucking a homie. Right. What what do we say on Boondocks? He, um, uh, Pimp name slip back. He, he gave uh, a whole speech on that shit. That shit was hilarious. Right, like nigga. Ain't, <laughs> no, nigga. No. He said, uh, he said, unless the homie gonna hit that stroll to make that money. <laughs> Family over hoes. Huh? 
Right, y'all go that route. I'll go that route over some homies over because you can't even trust. I mean, uh, I mean, then you got to make a distinction between just a chick that's actual loyal and a hoe. A hoe right. is a hoe. A right. hoe is meant to do what hoes do. Hoes. Phoebe or Lamb there. True. <laughs> I don't like being called. I got called. A hoe? Yeah. It don't, it don't, it don't sting. It, like, it don't can, sting, but I can see why women, because like we live in a double standard, man. To most, if you ask certain, uh, plenty of people, man can't be a hoe. Or if he is a hoe, it ain't, it ain't, a, it ain't a stigma. Right. Chick, is, uh, chick is seen as a hoe or loose or whatever. You know, there's a stigma on that. Hey, man, she's unwifeable or whatever. She called me one on uh, status. I'm like, wait, hold on. I mean, if she, if she calling you a hoe like you were like you a hoe ass nigga, yeah, nah, I feel some type of like that. that. She's like, because I was talking to someone, I was being cordial. Like, hey, right. man, look, look, so let me say this. Just because I'm being cordial with your ass, don't mean I'm flirting with you. I, that's just me. I'm cordial. Like, why would I just come off as an asshole to somebody I don't know? Right. She saw me talking to that, talking to some girl, and she just said, she yelled, yelled by She's like, nah, don't talk to the other hoes, you hoe. I was like, hold on, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I think she was just playing, but you know how some people play and they really got something in their heart. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> like it's like she playing, but she she's she so sort of serious see, at the same time. You just be like, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, 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 listen, if you feel, don't be. You know what I dislike too, motherfucking passive aggressive people. Passive aggressive people, passive aggressive people are annoying because they can't be direct. Am I passive aggressive? No. <laughs> Not that I know of. Okay. I mean, if I catch you being passive aggressive, we we'll call you out on that shit. Okay. Being passive aggressive, at least not with me. Be passive aggressive with somebody else. Because I'm that rat. I don't think I'm passive aggressive with anybody. Probably my mama, because she. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I'll be to my mama. Man, I'll definitely be passive aggressive with my mama, because you can't be that great with your mom. Nah. Like, motherfucker, let like, see, you're going to catch this fade, boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I. I can't, I gotta be kind because my mom, especially when she was going through her little, you know, women go to the little stages in their life, and she, she was all time crazy. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go through it too, man. Metaphone. Metaphone? Yeah, it's coming. I'm gonna move the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, hey, hey, I'm 26, I still live with my mom. It get mid 40s. I'm leaving. What? I, that's a, that's, I'm already motivated to get the fuck out of my mama's career. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely be motivated now. <laughs> well, I mean, shit. My mama ain't put. My mama encouraged me to stay. I be like, girl, everybody from the stay while you run out the upstairs and head out. So you can do it. exactly like. <laughs> but yeah. what if you want to smash something that everybody under you here? Yeah. They go, wait, 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 wait. Imagine like be like this. You want to go upstairs, smash something, and you about to hit. You know, you know your. No matter what bedroom you um you are over. They gonna hear your shit. Yes, cause I hear them. I heard the one when we was little. I used to hear my mom and dad. I don't care if she see this, cause I don't know. I used to hear them. I'm like, my little brother used to be like, "What's going on upstairs?" I was like, "Don't worry about go, like to your, go listen to your music." Oh, my <laughs> asshole cousin did that to me one time. Nigga, grandparents is getting it in, oh, yeah. and I, this one we had the walls in the basement, or whatever. And I'm sleep, dead sleep, probably snoring and everything, and shine. Black, shine, you black motherfucker. <laughs> this nigga wakes me up, say, Curtis, Curtis, Curtis. <laughs> Leans over and say, you hear that? And all I hear, you know, move, I, I hear, and I, all I hear is the, the bed moving. I'm like, That's all I heard, so I'm like, I'm like, I'm like this, I'm like, nigga, why you waking me up for this shit? All right, all you like, heard you could have, you could have experienced, like, it's like he didn't want to experience it by himself. He wanted me to be traumatized with him. I'm that? pretty sure that nigga thought it was the funniest shit. Man. He did! Because I thought it was when my little brother came and he was like, damn, you did that? Oh, I was like, man. I went in front of him. I was like, I'm going to go my damn room. This is, yeah, I, I was in high school. But I was asleep, though. Oh, that was different. See, he I woke was, me up I just to piss. Nigga, you hear that? And he thought that shit was hilarious. Oh, yeah. I, I ain't gonna lie. If he would have woke me up when I heard that, it would have been hilarious, but I would have been pissed off, too. <laughs> nigga, I was like, Nigga, the fuck are you waking me up to hear some shit for? And I can't have people when we get time have somebody over and come my grandma, she wants somebody to talk to. <laughs> I be like, grandma, they came over for me. She do that with my daddy friends. They be out there doing whatever drinking and stuff. Like, she be out there like she wanna hit. <laughs> to me hit, wanna, hit the she bottle or hit the so. blunt. <laughs> Man, we be like, go back, go on, go get your friend. <laughs> 
ran my cousin off on my birthday, man. I was like, dang, how you just gonna run my company off? I ain't do that on your birthday. I took you out on your birthday. You can't even <laughs> let nobody come over and see me. Right. Man. Shit. Hey, crazy. this is the life you live when you got to, when you, when you work in entrepreneur, when you, when you chase an entrepreneurship, ain't got a job, ain't still living with your parents, just got to deal with the shit. I mean, I hustle, I do what I do. I ain't selling drugs. Just let y'all know. <laughs> shit, if y'all niggas support this Patreon when I put it up, though, we'll be all right. Do what I do. You know, yeah, I shake a couple of a couple dollars. Just earned two dollars on 63rd earlier today. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck was you doing? Wild boy. What you was doing on 63rd, man? I some female. She was like, ah. All I got is two. I was like, really? Yeah. Damn, boy, you a cheap hoe. You see how I got? I bought that big drink. <laughs> <laughs> I came up with that so you a cheap hoe, two dollars. <laughs> Nigga, 63rd. I ain't giving out nothing. I'm just shaking ass, you know? <laughs> For, for for exclusively women, huh? Yeah. I heard gay dudes pay for Shit, I ain't seen no, I ain't met no. <laughs> <laughs> we need funding, right? No, we ain't doing that. <laughs> he said we need funding, right? No, we don't need that. Oh, as ain't sexual. We don't need funding that bad. It ain't sexual. <laughs> he said we need funding. I'm like, bro, right. I can send you a video. Really? <laughs> He better be a billionaire. <laughs> hey, if you taking that, you, you taking if you taking the uh, the L. Wait, 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 wait. You taking that L? Yeah, I take the L. You, he taking that L for the third post video. You see it? <laughs> I'm loyal. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get it how we can, goddamn. Man, your ass dirty. <laughs> I ain't giving out my dick. I'm not I ain't taking nothing. I ain't so taking nothing. Giving it, I'm taking it. I'm just shaking that. Leave me alone. Big Black did it. R.I.P. Big Black. He did it. But you shaking it for women or dudes? I'm shaking it for mostly women. But if the guy come around with the right price. <laughs> Say me that broke, nigga. No, he that broke. I ain't that broke. <laughs> hey, hey. Uh, we struggling. <laughs> we trying to get this business off the ground. Hey, 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 don't be hitting me up on Facebook, neither. Nah, let me stop. Let me stop. All right. right. Hey, didn't hey. the chick, didn't the chick try to get you like that one time? Yeah, like she was tried just, to, you said she tried to, uh, she was a I'm going to let him explain. She was a dancer on Facebook. I added her. I'm thinking she was a normal person. Right. So she started talking to me in my inbox. Me, I'm very paranoid. So I'm trolling her. She asked me where I live. I told that bitch, Kenosha, Wisconsin. <laughs> my age. Oh, this! What do I do for a living? I'm like, so she was scoping out some, yeah, some like she was possible, possible, some a uh, possible, uh, 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 what they call them, uh, um, trick. Yeah, like, and I'm just like, like she a bill collector. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so, I'm thinking we having a real conversation the whole time. Trawla, the here come. Oh, I dance. I make uh. Nudie, a nudity dancer, or whatever. She, she get she, bucket naked for some dollars. That's basically, she she's like, I have a live stream. You want to see? I was like, Oh no, that's fine. She's like, No, really, you can see it here. You could. Uh, she sent me the link. Right. I was like, Okay, what do you want me to do? She's like, Okay, all you gotta do is just put in your credit card number. You can see. <laughs> I was like, Bitch, what? <laughs> I was like, uh, It ain't working. I was, <laughs> I was just playing with her at first. It ain't working. Right. And she's like, try it again, try it now. She sent me another link. I was like, nope, it ain't working. And she's like, well, I could just send you something now and then you just pay me later. And she sent me like a picture of her uh, body. Okay. I was like, oh, that's so, nice. That's real nice. So she never trying. told her to send me nothing. Send me something. And I was like, oh, I don't have no money. <laughs> I just told her. Damn, hit her with the, I'm <laughs> broke. <laughs> Boy, she was like, all caps. What? You said you was going to pay me. Don't fucking play with me, Derek. I'm a crazy bitch. And all that. I was like, whoa. <laughs> I got about that messenger. And somebody commented on one of my statuses. So I commented. It was one of my homies. I commented. She commented right up under my status. Right on, on my status. Right up under what I said. Said the same thing. What? You said you was going to pay me. I need my money. So she I'm crazy. Trying to, try to get on some blackmail type shit. Yeah, I was like, whoa, this bitch tried to delete the comment. Went to her. Blocked her. In the story. So she was going to basically... I'm going to keep fucking with you. You do that one time. You. That's all it takes. Nope. That's the only... I think that's the only person I ever blocked. On Facebook. 
And I've been on Facebook since 2007. She was trying to come up off your way. Look what she was trying to do. Boy, then, I guess she was trying to make you look bad. Like, hold on. Right, but I was screaming. She, she was trying to shame. She was trying to shame you into right. paying. Ain't no shame over here because I was trolling you the whole time, sweetheart. So. Trolling, nigga. Trolling. I say trolling. It's my thing. I'm going to get a shirt that say trolling. It's going to have two O's. And then nobody going to be like, what the fuck is you talking about? They ain't going to know what I'm talking about. No, they ain't. Yeah, it's yeah, trolling. Just like I say, uh, what they say, memes. Yeah, I used to call them Mimi's. <laughs> yeah, I used to call that shit Mimi's too. <laughs> I, I used to call that shit no. Mimi's. <laughs> I used to Mimi Justin was like, it's memes, nigga. I was like, oh shit. Well, shit. You got another word for him there. Shit. I guess. He knew what I was talking about. Call that shit Mimi's. As long as you knew what I was talking about. Memes. Memes versus Mimi is a better word anyway. I used to call my little cousin that when she was little. Mimi's. <laughs> Yeah, that is a nickname in the hood. She's light you can find about chocolate. you can find about ten memes every twenty square twenty every in every neighborhood you can find about twenty memes. I actually got a friend nicknamed Mimi. I know a stripper named Mimi. Of course you do. Red down, <laughs> huh? Red down. Oh fuck, bitch. Work I out. told what a hey, I went up there to my uh, little cousin. Listen, I'm not finding out what these strippers work at. I can't Look, tip I w- you. I went up there to my little cousin's school. They was like, "Hey, there, we working at that?" I was like, "I work at Red Diamonds. You come see me every Friday night. You gotta come <laughs> early in the morning. Though. They only let me in early in the morning. You can't come after that. Seven in the morning. Cool. <laughs> that ain't even open in the morning, is it? I don't know. I, don't know. I, just, I said somebody y'all. She wanted to see something, she would have had a chance to. Yeah, her C-Session Scott was on her back. Her C-Session Scott was on her back. What the fuck? Nigga, that was a knife wound. Yeah. <laughs> that was just a regular knife wound. She one. says, see something, so you had your baby through your back? Yeah, you know I gotta always start a podcast with something stupid. Yeah. I've been one, one of my homies, his name is Oscar. Shout out to Oscar. He talking about, I'm getting my independence removed. I'm like, what the hell? You get your, Who took your independence removed? <laughs> he talking about this appendix. He's, I know what he talking about, but they see I'm getting my independence removed. Oh, I think he are not, because he, he, he was a little, he was fat right. in high school. And you can see his scar on his side, and you can see, like, the meat hanging over it. It looked like, he looked like something like stuck the head, and it's like this. And just to scoop the shit out. Stop scoop him out. I was like, what happened right here? You got, uh, <laughs> somebody bit you? He was like, I got my independence removed. That shit was so funny. We looked at it. All of us looked at it. We was like, bro, who took your independence, bro? The president took your independence? What's your... <laughs> that shit was that shit so funny. I was like, hell, you made your appendix, motherfucker? <laughs> hey, how do you feel about summer ending? I love summer ending. I, I love September through January. Summer, summer ends with September 22nd. Yeah, we going to the fall season. Oh, I got these hoodies too. Got these hoodies. If you want one, hit me up. I'll send you the link. <laughs> and I got this hoodie. This my only. Nigga, I'm hoodie. selling this hoodie. I'm though. selling this motherfucker too. Shit, you got it. eighty dollars. That's for you. It's that's big and tall. For that one hoodie, eighty dollars. It's all I got is this hoodie. <laughs> no, but I'm actually selling this hoodie and bringing it back. This was my first. Uh, my first. Uh, Hoodie release ever. So if people want to get this hoodie and come in, I could just tell me what color you want. The words, the design itself, I can change the color. The hoodies is black. You can change the color of the hoodie? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I mean, they come in different colors, but black is the best one. Right, okay. You just change the color. Of yeah, I could, I could change the color of the design for you, I'm, but I'm going to take a special order. So that means hit me up if you want the link and I'll send it to you. But I'm not releasing it uh, for the public. Just hit me up, DM me, Twitter, whatever the fuck you. If you know me personally, hit me up. You ain't getting shit free, though. Yeah, you got to reiterate that to people. They yeah. don't know why. They no think free they, shit. They, they, you know but, you think you get something free or a discount. Right? But a lot of people love summer, the summer time. I'm happy that summer's in it because now I can rock my hoodies, put my head on. You ain't got a lot of shorts either, right? Hell no, I got one pair of shorts. I like I love my hoodie season. I love hoodies. Right. It's the, I mean, I yeah, play. I got four, about four hoodies. I play football. I got like six of them bitches. I got Black Lives Matter hoodie. I got. I need um, more like that. I got a lot of hoodie. I was listening to my daddy, and I was getting like a lot of sports hoodie. No, like construction work ass. I need more hoodies like this on my um uh, my black or light on my board. You talking about lightweight? Yeah, like light or just got graphics on them. My right. other hoodies ain't got no damn graphics on them. Man, it's just plain hoodies or Carhartt. 
workers hoodies and right. shit. Oh, yeah. I need some more hoodies, man. Yeah, then I got that. Some more. I got that hoodie with all the sports teams on it. I really want to do, do that hoodie too. I'm gonna be a hoodie like that for real. But that that moment when you switch it from from summer to fall, it's awful. It's also that that cuff is what they call the cuffy season. Cuff season cuff then season. you got you got uh people get. I mean, I just feel like you get better fits off in that that, that small window between summer and fall. Yeah, because in the, in Cause the you your, summer, you, you want to take all your clothes off. Right, so you yeah. don't want to wear no clothes. Be too damn hot to be you trying to get it off. You're going sweat, you to sweat the fit out. <laughs> right, at least in a winter, man, or a fall, you can wear whatever you want to wear. You can put a jacket on the top of it. If you, like, if you're a big dude like me, you don't need no jacket. Shit, you can just rock that bitch, you know? Instead of, I'm saying big niggas take clothes off. What the fuck got the ass yeah. on? With I don't think on. people realize, like, in the summer, no matter how many clothes you take out, you still gonna be hot. Hot, right. but in the but in the hot. fall to winter, you can bundle up and be still be warm. I'm trying to explain that to my daddy. He don't. He just gets stiff. He like this is why this is why fall is better than summer. I like fall and winter. Cause winter ain't nobody doing shit. <laughs> just yeah. in the crib. Yeah. yeah. When, when, then winter tells you who really rocking with you. Exactly. Like in the summer, people are gonna they they you, you ain't really paying attention because. If you tell somebody to come out, we finna go out, or we finna party, we finna go to this event. You know, it's it's gonna be. If you invite a bunch of people, nine times out of ten, a bunch bunch of them are gonna come, but a lot of them don't really rock with you. One time, you figure out who really rock with you. you definitely you tell test them, the loyalty in the world. When, when you when you tell somebody to come, let's pop out, and they and they actually show up, you be like, you know what? I really fuck them. Niggas be like, you showed it's up too when cold. They, you're right. You you showed up, or they tell you they gonna come, but then. They realize it's too fucking cold. Right. And like, I'm still, I'm, if I tell you I'm going to come out, I'm still going to come out. One yeah. winter, winter, for me anyway, is one of those seasons where it, it, ain't, it ain't about hibernating. Most people be trying to hibernate. I don't right. be hibernating. No, I'm, 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 I'm moving. moving. I sit on the porch in the winter. I actually did. I, I fell asleep on the porch in the winter. <laughs> this crackhead woke me up. He was walking back. He was coming through the gangway on the other side <laughs> of the house. He was like, wake up. I was like, I'm like, what, nigga? I'm feeling good. Like, I'm out here to sleep. I have a cold. Look, on. I like winter, but I don't like winter that much. <laughs> it, it, it wasn't that cold. Sleep. It wasn't that cold that day. It was about a good 40 degrees. And I had me a fat ass cold on. I, when, that, when it get cold, like right now, I could go to sleep. I could sleep for a long time. Like, I'm like a bear. <laughs> See, you're hiding. You make sure you be hiding. I don't have, I don't have anything like that, though. I get up. But I'm just saying it makes me sleep. I relax. You you uh participating in cuffing season this winter? Hell no. Shit, if I see you, I see you. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, the, that's the weirdest thing to me, too. So you wait. You, in the summer, you being, you, you being a little thotty, thotty yana, whatever. Right, and then you want to settle down. And then you want to settle down only for the cold Fall season. That's weird. Like, yeah. what the fuck is it? it, 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 it I mean, I'll put it like this. If you, you the, winter, the, the, cool, the cold weather affects people that much to where they don't want to no longer be out there being a bachelor that they are, that they going to settle down for a chick just for the season. Like, that's the most weirdest shit to me because... It is. I love the cold. I, now, me, I probably mess with you in the summer. <laughs> it's too hot. Like, me, uh-uh. <laughs> oh, yeah, most definitely. If it's too damn hot in the summertime, I'm probably not going to It's too goddamn hot. If you ain't got no I, AC, no, nah, hell no. Nah. Right, and then I sweat. Like, they got me try. I be like, I be damn near dying. I was damn. It was the other day when it, it was. It was. It wasn't even that goddamn hot outside. It was outside. sixty. It was like fifty degrees. Nigga, I was still sweating. I was, and I was. I was, I, was, I was like, you know what? This ain't for me. Right. This. If it's if it's sixty, I no. It, it wasn't sixty that day, was it? What? Yesterday? No. The, the day I had came over, I was sweating and shit. Came to your crib. No, it was about. It was, it was about seventy. Um, it was just windy. I mean, I take sixty and below. Yeah, I like I like seventy. Sixty, below. sixty degrees. 40 degrees, that's my range. 75 and down, I'm straight. Well, I could, I could tolerate 80. I play football. I got a high tolerance for heat, but that don't mean I like this shit. Yeah, <laughs> nigga, I be around. I like, right. I, I, play, I played football four years, and Coach, shout out to Coach. Ah, shit. He on my page. He follow us, too. Coach had us. He, he and my guys, y'all already know, we played on the team over there at the school. Dude, we had two, three days, man. In the heat, bro, it'd be a hundred or something degrees. You gotta put that big ass helmet on with them 
pads. We be out there running. That water hose was your best friend. <laughs> right. <laughs> that thick ass water hose. The water come out like it's a motherfucker, like it's a fire hose. I'm be over there taking showers with that bitch, <laughs> drinking and drowning themselves in the goddamn it be boy. I mean, one time I went myself all, oh, I was driving by the end of the park. <laughs> it wasn't probably it was hot as hell. Ain't no trees out there in the middle of that field. Right. It's just field, 100 yards. You just out there hitting, boy. Your mouthpiece dry, your lips get white. Damn the dead. <laughs> Shit, yeah, y'all ain't looking like a fucking zombie out walking there. That's how we look, man. Man, it was, it was crucial. So that, I could tolerate the heat. But when I'm sitting in the crib, and my mama, not my mama, my mama hate the heat too. My grandma and my daddy love heat. I don't understand. I wake up. You be in that damn near dying and shit. Yeah, it be 90 degrees. They got the windows closed when I wake up. I'll be like, what the hell is wrong with y'all? Y'all are tweaking. Uh huh, it's too cold outside. Nigga, there ain't even no breeze. Yeah, the going. worst thing is living with people who are anemic. Ain't that what that shit called? Anemic? But they they do too got uh, arthritis. Okay. So they get stiff. <laughs> they don't like to get stiff. I'm like, well, that's y'all fault. Run. <laughs> Run in place, my grandma. Her doctor told her, you gotta walk. His doctor told him, you gotta walk. Run in place. Right. Move around. Because ain't no way I'm gonna be living with no. I don't give a fuck about you being anemic. It's, it's if it's too damn goddamn, uh, it's too hot, bro. You on you on your own. Nigga, sit your ass in the oven. Poor blood circulation and shit. Right, reptile ass nigga. <laughs> sit your ass in the uh, in the oven. Cut that oven on and sit in that bitch. I know they might be like, go sit your ass in the freezer or the refrigerator. <laughs> nah, it don't work like that, right. bro. Can't leave that refrigerator open too long. <laughs> Let's go back to the Twitter conversation real quick. Cause I got another one for you. AARP. Who? No, no, no. What the fuck is AARP? What the fuck? Some old people. Well, nigga, why you bring up AARP? Like, All right, whatever. Yeah, Listen, but well, this ain't actually a Twitter conversation. This is a conversation I had with somebody in real life. I seen it on Twitter too, and I was like, why is this a recurring thing with some of these chicks? But some of this, I seen it on. I think might have seen it on IG too. But apparently, some chicks believe that, or some women believe that. Uh, a man should go to work and pay all the bills, and she should be at home taking care of the kids. Oh yeah, oh well, yeah, they do it like that. I, it's I not, fundamentally not disagree with that shit. Yeah. Do you fuck you? You think you should go to work and then take care? Of I mean, I think it's an equal partnership. The relationship is a partnership. You want to work? Go ahead. If you don't want to work, shit. Well. <laughs> <laughs> don't be coming to me asking me for money. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm not support. You know, if that's my woman, and we got a kid, and I want, if I got it like that, right. you can stay home. But my, I, 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 not, you know what that, the, what I say about that is, it should be relationship to relationship to uh, uh, conversations about that. Right. Because, but it's, when I see people, women talk about it, they talk about how it should be across the board, not just for their relationship. Right. They, they got this idea that that they they want to look down on a man who getting help paying the bills from his woman that's fucking weird like yeah and i saw i see that a lot I, and then i let's put it in, into perspective then you talk about america the economics of the whole thing the average male make 40 grand a year maybe i don't maybe that's hypothetically the average male make 40 grand a year a woman like to shop get shoes and shit man i feel sorry for the nigga that I, if my if my if my sister had this mask mask uh, uh, set, I feel sorry for whatever nigga she get away. But l- hopefully she don't. But when it's because my sister like to get a lot of shoes, but women like so shoes. Then you got pampers. Then you got food. Right. That's what you got. Go back to me saying if I got it like that. Right. But but I'm saying but let's think. You struggling? Yeah. yeah. But I, I feel but definitely. I won't say forty grand is struggling. I would say the average. Let hypothetically speaking, the average income is. Forty grand, yeah, and that's that, and that's not even including taxes. Is that even minimum wage? No, I have no. Uh, I don't think that maybe, is. but but let's just say you that's be taxes. Right. If she wanted to go out and get shoes and shit, yeah, girl. Uh, and then you got babies, then you got if you if you and you can't even you rent an apartment still, right? You we ain't got, even buying no house. We got a lot of bills, years. and we and we look, man. This is my definition of struggle. If you miss a payment, <laughs> like black people do, and you three months behind, nigga, you're struggling. Right. That's struggling. If you get a, a month, 
you'd be like, uh, you probably forgot or something. Two to three months, you're struggling. But the amount of chicks, the amount of women, I keep saying chicks, I'm trying to stop saying chicks, but the amount of women I've seen agree that men should pay out a bill and she should stay at home and cook and clean and take care of the kids. Like, the amount of women I see agree with that, it just comes down to all you bitches must want to get y'all rich nigga or something. Or something. They, or they got a drug dealer boyfriend or something. Or something. Like Somebody that's take care of it. Fucking weird. Like, because. what happened if that nigga gets sick or something and then exactly. the whole family fuck? It's like, you can't rely, it, it should never be relied upon one person to take care of the whole family. This is, this is my sister. And then why, then wait, then why, why she gotta be the only one raising the kids? Right. I, if he working all day, let's say if he working 12 hours, making 40 grand a year. Definitely. Cause I, he don't want to come home and deal with no fucking little bastards. It's his responsibility. But if you want to stay home and be, but it's weird to not have the father raise the kids as well as the mother raise the kids. I'm definitely ready. If I ever had kids, I'm definitely ready. Like and then and, and then it's gonna come to a point where you, she gets tired of raising the fucking kids. She go he, crazy. He come wait wait and then put like this and then here's another scenario. He come she tired she had a hard day with the, with the housework or the kids or whatever. He had a hard day at work. She wants to complain because women we know you like to fucking come and talk to talk a nigga hell about your problems that day. But he don't want to hear that shit because he just got home from work. Nobody, and then she wants to complain, and then she wants to get mad at him because she don't, because he don't want to hear her fucking complaints about the day. Like the fuck out of here. Listen, that shit. If it works for you, cool. But for me, I don't give a fuck how much money I'm making. You stay at home and raising the kids ain't gonna work. But you got situations like my, my, my like my, my grandma and my granddaddy. That works for them because my grandma worked. She had a major surgery, so she gets to stay home. It's situational shit like that. Certain situations it works. My my uncle and his wife, both of them work. Now I don't know they, I'll I'll never assume to know their business, but they both work, so I'm assuming. So I, I guess that they both chip in on the bills. But don't sit here and tell me that. Oh, I, I should. It's a man's job you to pay. Just put yourself in a position to where both of y'all can make money at least. Right. You know, because if I got it like that, if I got enough juice to be like. Look, we gonna go in on this together. Like how we like how we try to start our company together. If we end up getting female, you know, marrying them, right. you know, we gonna try to say, have them do something to where they can be able to be successful too and be able to make money too. You know, ain't nobody for to just be saying, oh, I, the females we know, shit. I don't think they like that. No, nah, I know a lot of females but, that's not like that. Right. I mean, <laughs> but, I, but I know some. I know some who are they like they want to be. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if I did. Somebody did feel some type of way that I don't want. Like, but hey, it was their opinion. No, no, and I'm not saying that they can't have their opinion. I'm just, I just. You wanna... can't. <laughs> Damn it, go to work. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm just saying I would just want to point out the fallacies in those ideas. Yeah, man. Yeah. Like it, like those. Well, it's just weird that unless you're getting a rich nigga who making ninety grand a year. But if you think about it, if you making forty grand a year and I'm making forty grand a year, that's eighty grand. What the fuck is we? Why? Why, why wouldn't you work? Reverse it. You don't want no grown man sitting at the curb while you going to work. Yeah, but no. But they'll they'll tell you that this is this is what should be a man's and woman's role. These ain't chicks who super feminist or whatever. But wait, but I did see a chick who said the same. She said like these are the roles of the men and women when it comes to the bills, and she got feminism in her motherfucking bio, like. I thought you about. I thought feminism was about independence, and now she talking about motherfucking. I'd be damned if man should pay. To tell me what I can and can't do, like in terms of supporting the family or something. But I'm saying, like, of course, that all I'm saying is, do what works for you. But I just want to point out, the, are you going to get a rich nigga? Unless you're going to get a rich nigga, this your dream of a dude paying the bills while you take care of the household ain't gonna work. Because you can't. You're not finna be able to move or to, uh, or live off the, the one income, especially in certain states too. Like you, like here, like this like is in Chicago, you time time to do that. that. Like in Chicago, that idea of a man paying all the bills, working at that shit don't work. While you got a kid and then you got these little BS apartments, no, that, you got eight hundred dollar rent. Nigga, just have your check at McDonald's. Well, your full check. Right. What's she gonna be doing? And I guess. Giving me head and letting me fuck you from the back ain't enough. Hey, some dudes go for that. that they see that as fair. No, I'm talking about for me. I'm just saying, some a lot of niggas. For me, that's why I like these. For me, that up. for me that ain't happening. No, that ain't because happening either. Because if I got if you if put like this, the stress. We live in a capitalist society. 
The stress of not having enough money to do for your loved one is stressful. It's frustrating. Yeah. And you should never. I, no woman in a right man should leave that type of stress and frustration up to, you know, on, on one person's shoulder. Right. If you love that man, like you say you love him, you won't let him stress about that shit exactly. by himself. Just like I want, just like us men, we won't let no woman go through nothing like that. You know, not by themselves. Like I said, ain't nothing himself. wrong with, ain't nothing wrong with fifty fifty. Ain't nothing wrong with thirty thirty. Uh, it's a partnership, man. Thirty us uh, what seventy. Ain't nothing wrong with none of that shit. Right. As long as some, as long as y'all, you know, grinding. But I've seen chicks. I seen chicks say, he ain't a real man if if she chipping in on the bill. Like, I don't. I, I just don't get the whole. I, I don't get the uh the idea of that. You you dating chicks who uh want you to pay all their bills? Huh? What's that? Nigga, well, get the fuck off the phone. Nigga, you know, cause you was on the phone last. Yeah, but I was looking at something towards what we was talking about. Research, right. nigga. Look at that ass. Let me see. That's the way I'm past. No, go back to the ass. It's all right. It wasn't the ass. I was just doing shit. What you saying there? No man, cause the whole the whole. Uh, you said you gonna want no female to do what? I don't know. Now you talking about ass, so now I want to see some ass. Yeah. Go to the ass on 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 on, on uh, Instagram. It, it's, I ain't no Instagram, my friend. Oh, uh, what's that? Snapchat. Go to the ass on the Snapchat, nigga. No, nah, it's gone. It don't go. You can watch it again, though. I don't want to watch it again. It wasn't no ass. I was just playing. <laughs> you follow Tia and Trump on? I used to, man, because she, <laughs> she fell off of me when she had the baby. She know. had a baby? Yeah, Tiana what? Trump? Oh, Tiana Trump. I'm, yeah. I'm thinking about Tiana Taylor. My no, I, I who the fuck is Tiana Taylor? Taylor? Oh, Tiana Trump, a porn star. No, I can't find her. What her thing at? Maybe she got deleted or something. Yeah, because when she got locked up, I kept trying to find it because she had it on her Twitter. Right. But when but she got out, she was around here. Baby. She was back on Twitter, but I tried to get it on Snapchat. It wasn't, I, did, I guess she deleted it. I don't know. I've been trying to find her, man. She ain't no Snapchat no more. She is. Uh-huh. You gotta watch. Look her up on Twitter. I did. She. I got her. I, I don't follow her, but you know, I know. I know where she at. <laughs> I don't like following people that don't know her, that you know don't follow. Her. Nigga, I just cloud me up. I'm gonna follow her on Twitter. I don't know why I don't already. <laughs> Freak by uh, I was following people like. Filmmakers and here. Yeah, like producers. Film. I feel you. I follow Jerry Brockheimer, uh, Cor- Corinne Hardy. That's the. Uh, he's directing the new film, The Nun, based off of the Conjuring universe. Uh, David F. Sandberg, the director of Annabelle 2. Uh, See, I don't be knowing all these director names and shit. You, yeah, know, be, James you be knowing Warner, all them motherfuckers. James Wan. I barely know actors' names, I just know them by their characters. <laughs> I got a whole list. I follow the rock. I follow the rock. You know he doing this. He doing producing now. Oh, okay. He got his own company, Seven Bucks Productions. I was about to tell you, he made that into a company. Because every time he, this is the most inspirational quote or speech he say when he was, I think he said he was nineteen. He only had seven bucks in his pocket, and he took that and flipped it, grinded with it. I mean, he started wrestling first, so I can't right. say he flipped it. His father was already a famous wrestler. And people don't believe when I say he's Canadian. He's actually Canadian. Who, oh, right? Yeah. Um, I thought his was Hawaiian or some shit. He, he has Samoan in him on his mother's side. he was side. born in Canada? Yeah, his father's Canadian. He has dual citizenship. Oh, okay. Yeah. But it's, if you look on Google, it's some I mean, but was he born American in the U.S.? I think he was born in uh, Canada. Oh, he's born in Canada? Yeah. If not, he was born in... Uh, what you call it? Florida or something? Cause he he loved Florida. I think he stayed down in there. He caught all the damn boy all the storms down. Yeah, I got a sister down there in Florida right now. I definitely caught her about yesterday. Irma is the worst gonna be the worst storm ever in American head. I'm like damn. Category know. five, four, five. It's never been over a five, a four. Probably gonna slow down by the time we get to land though. Yeah, I mean it's here in Cuba and shit now, so. They said by uh, you know what? Should be about one money. thing I don't follow is like they be saying all this. Half of that shit don't even mean mean and shit to me anyway. Like category five, it's a fucking hurricane. Fucking thing is huge. I mean the category. You gotta look at the categories because they don't none the, of that shit mean shit to me. The miles per hour because the winds could reach almost. It's a hurricane. I'd rather my family just leave. 
Yeah, I mean, you leave here. Well, I mean, because a one, a one or two, you could duke it out. It's like a severe thunderstorm here. Yeah, but Chicago, we don't get hurricanes. I'm just saying that's that's the equivalent. To so it. if I have, if we had those categories, we one, had a one wins, or two. Yeah, well, I mean, we actually I mean, had it one day. It was like seventy mile per hour winds in one day. We yeah. blew the shingles off our damn. Well, we got the we got the proof to prove the shit. <laughs> it was like two years ago. Yeah, the shingles went up. Right? The shingles, nah, they worse because we just got our roof done. That uh, motherfucker blew the whole side, almost half. It was like half of our side of the roof off. Right. It was laying all. It, there was a lot of people on the block. It blew the dishes off and shit. Hey, okay. as you was looking at on Snapchat, show me. I wasn't looking at no. I was just playing. But you told me you were looking at ads. I'm just playing. No, go to find some ads to look at on Snapchat. No, I ain't gonna find no ads. You know how people? You know how many people I got on my Snapchat? Well, they, they could see that you what you watch. No, something? nigga, that's long, nigga. You got then it should be slow. I ain't got no connection here like that because no. it still be moving slow. That's why I got off of it. Don't it tell me it's a big booty on on on, on the screen. Yeah, you'll be all right, asshole. You know what an ass is. All you gotta do is look on Instagram. Well, yeah, this is third post media. We done with the podcast today because this nigga told me there was ass on the screen. It really wasn't. So he's an asshole. We ain't uh huh. We ain't talk about uh what. The other. Start with a D. I ain't talking about that shit. Ain't nothing to talk about. Fuck Trump. Let those people. Doctor, who, so yeah, fuck. Them. Ain't nothing to talk about. Dumb yeah. people, all the only thing they know is America. They should stay. This is Third Post Media. Same. Subscribe, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. Third Post Media. Oh, yeah. Shout out to the 100 likes we got, man. We just reached 100 likes. Yeah, we did. Thank you. We're going to keep going. We want to hit a million, man, and go beyond that. We're trying to really do this. So keep sharing, keep, like, man, keep sharing, get people, get more people involved, man. We definitely fit through. Go subscribe to the YouTube. We need the money. <laughs> you don't get money till 10,000 subscribers, goddammit. I need told to, you. Need to come on. This is a conversation we don't have off camera because I had already told him about this shit. <laughs> so we're going to leave it as that. We need money. Come on. Bring it. Bring it here.